Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of my vlog and I'll be shooting with the lovely Tajane from Jamaica. Yo, the place is really, really hot. However, um, we're going to do this. We're going to make it happen. So what I'll be doing today, I'll be using the Godox 8200 and also I'll be using a reflector. Guys, it is the first time I'll be using a reflector in all my life. So comment down below, let me know what you think and let me know what you like, what you didn't like and what you want to see me do next time. Uh, anything you want to say, Tajani? Well, let's just shoot and have fun. Okay, stick around for the uh, behind the scenes and she will share her experience at the end of the video. Thanks, peace. So basically guys, as you can see, the reflector is leaning against the stand and like that is just not ideal, right? So if you're using a reflector, you definitely need a person there with you to actually hold it so they can direct that reflection where you want it to be, right? So this, this was something I was suffering with, right? And then as you can see right now, I wasn't actually getting the, the light that I wanted. So basically I had to move reflector trying to get that perfect light it wasn't perfect because the reflection is coming from below and i wanted it from like 45 degrees above however i worked with it uh, just to do the comparison for you guys so i hope you enjoy this this vlog okay and thank you guys so much again for watching i really and truly appreciate it Alright guys, so the first problem that I ran into, I wasn't able to get that directional light because I had no one holding the reflector for me. Now the second problem I ran into, um, I don't know, like today was just, or this day was just a day that I should run, run into problems. So the second problem that I ran into was that the sun went in, it was totally overcast and there was no light coming from the sky like where i could actually get the directional light using the reflector that i wanted so basically i had to go straight natural light right here so it's it's the reflector versus natural 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 light versus the flash so this these are some natural light shots so just stick around and then you'll see the shots using the godox 8200 okay all right guys so comment and just let me know what you think so far and what you'd have done different or what you normally do in your in in this situation Alright guys, so basically I'm using the Godox 8200 now and this is the third one of a comparison. To me, this is my favorite. Even before I show you the photos, uh, this is definitely my favorite, right? Because using the Godox 8200, it gives me a chance to separate the model from the background where lighting is concerned and that is that is amazing right that is really really amazing so i would tell you guys if you have a chance you can go ahead and get a godox 8200 or any other cheap light source uh, that you can use high speed sync with and like it is bright enough so you can actually compete with the sun right so guys this is my favorite out, out of the three and I, I definitely want you guys to go ahead, jump in the comment section, tell me what you think about the photos, tell me what you think about um, how I can improve my game, and also tell me what you are doing to improve your game. And I hope you guys learned something from, from this shoot, okay? Uh, more behind the scenes coming and just enjoy.
all right so basically the rain started uh, pouring heavier which I'm using the D780 so it is weather sealed and it can handle this however the Godox 8200 it definitely cannot handle the water so I was just pushing as fast as I can just to get this wrap up so you guys on the other side on YouTube can actually see what took place throughout the day right I'm doing this for you guys um, also I must make mention I've had a few questions um, on my previous videos asking about the D780 in terms of eye autofocus and stuff like that and I must tell you guys the eye autofocus it is amazing and if you can if, if you are noticing I've used it a lot also in positions that I'm unable to lie on the ground or something like that I'll definitely use it and I don't know like first I was saying I'm going for the optical viewfinder but now with the ease of the eye autofocus and the ease of the mirrorless uh, part of the system I definitely use it a lot more than I expected however I still love the optical viewfinder so it is great to have best the best of both worlds and I'm loving it so the D780 is a it's fire it's bomb and also my Godox 8200 it's not the pro it's just a regular version and I'm loving it also so thank you guys for watching this and continue to watch and I hope you enjoy what is left in store for you guys. Peace. Peace.